but we're not going to use, no year eights will be harmed in the making of this workshop. Okay? Oh. So in this workshop, what we are really looking at is when somebody's out there driving a car and I step out of the road to cross, how long is it going to take them to come to a stop? Or well, more importantly, how far are they going to travel in the car? So how far away from me do they have to be? The other day I found out that, I don't know if it's true or not, but in a zebra crossing, there's a triangle. Yep. And once the car is passed or on top of past the yep. triangle, they don't legally have to stop. Later on in the day I'm going to explain a lot more about um, how to calculate speeds. But that's going to be in small groups later in the day. But basically, right now I'm going to explain what we do, okay, and why we get involved, okay. So we are obviously the Wellington District Serious Crash Unit. You see, there's no door. The door on the back has gone. There it is. There, <laughs> stuck on the train. And this, this, these locomotives were three k down the road. Car hit uh, bridge barrier. That's the car. <gasps> that's a little Toyota Eco. I think that they that it took for them to uh, to put their foot on the brake, was it? No, we're finding out if they're going at 50 kilometres an hour, how long it's going to take them before they stop. Okay, my reaction time is So if you've got 50 kilometres, change 50 kilometres into metres per second, how do you do that? Okay, equals 13.88. And your reaction time is what, 0.4? So you point it at a vehicle, there's um, a little red dot in the middle of the screen. It's right in here, it's a distance. So how far? No, 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 no. Until you stop. Reaction time to stop. Is that a good? Is that bad? It's unrealistic. 